Hello everyone, John from Sageology here to share another super simple solution. This time I'm going to show you an easy way to get video from your Osmo Mobile to your Mac for that important post-production editing. Now like many of you, I absolutely love my Osmo Mobile. I think it's a great tool that allows us to do some super cool things and has some amazing features. However, one of the features I really dislike is how difficult it is to get video from my phone to my computer. I don't know why it has to be this difficult to do such an important thing with the app that comes with it, the DGI Go app. I'm sure it's something they're going to fix soon, but in the meantime, I have found a solution that is very easy. Believe it or not, I use iTunes to get my video from my phone onto my uh, Mac. I'm not a huge fan of iTunes, but in this case, I think it's the best solution. So let's take a look at how I do it. Okay, folks, now you're looking at the desktop of my iMac. Uh, you're seeing a picture from one of my other DJI tools, my Phantom 3, but today we're going to be talking about the Osmo and how to uh, get video from your iPhone onto your iMac. So the first thing I'm going to do is plug in my lightning cable to my iPhone, and as soon as I do that, you'll see that iTunes is going to wake up here and launch. And what we need to do now is go to the upper left hand corner and you can see a little iPhone icon there click on that and then we want to go down to where it says apps on the left hand side click on that and then scroll down to where you see file sharing now in my case I only have one app uh, that is authorized to share files on this particular device normally you would have more but I've taken them off uh, for this demo so if you click on the DJI Go app, you'll see it shows the documents that are there. And what we're most interested in is the one called Video Cache. That is where DJI stores all of our videos. And you can see in this case, I have 170 megabytes of videos, not very many. I just put a few there again for the demo. So let's go to where it says Save To, click on that. And then it will give us a dialog box and we can select where we want to put them. You can put them anywhere you want. I'm going to leave them on my desktop for this purpose. I click Save To and then it starts that process. And you can see at the top here it says Copying Files From. That was quite quick because there's not very many there. And you can see on my desktop I now have a folder called Video Cache. So let's kill iTunes or quit iTunes. I'm going to disconnect my phone just so you know. So I'm completely disconnected uh, from my phone. If I open up this folder now, Video Cache, and I'll just make this a little bit bigger so that you can see, uh, you will notice there's a number of files here. I'm going to click to sort by kind. It just makes it easier. And now you can see there's a series of movies here. If I go down, I can uh, take a look at these in the preview. I can click them. This happens to be a motion time lapse from my backyard. Not anything too exciting happening there, just to give you an idea. And I could go down and look at the other ones and I can scroll through them. If I want, I can again preview them to see uh, what's behind the video or what the video is. But the point is all of these are now on my Mac and I can use whatever tool I want. If you're using iMovie or I prefer Final Cut Pro or whatever you're using for editing, you've got it there. Much, much easier to do it this way, at least I find, than the way that DJI asks us to do it using the DJI uh, Go app. I think it's something they're probably going to correct in a future update, but for now I just find it a little bit annoying. This is a much quicker way uh, to get access to them. All right. Okay, there you have it. A super simple solution for getting video from your iPhone to your Mac. I hope you found this useful and I look forward to seeing your comments. Please share this video with your friends and be sure to subscribe to my channel so you hear about all of the new videos that I have coming out. Thanks for watching.